Right now at 5.30, we're learning more about a deadly crash in Broward County over the weekend. Authorities say they were chasing a car full of teenage burglary suspects at the time. Fort Lauderdale police say they spotted the vehicle, reported stolen in a break-in, and the driver just took off. And that led to a crash involving several cars and the death of an innocent victim. Local 10's Terrell Forde is live with new information on the investigation. Terrell. And this is the intersection where things came to a crashing end here in Oakland Park. And we are learning that the people who are accused of causing this deadly crash are very young, just 13 and 15 years old. And they appeared before a judge just a few hours ago. You are 13 charged with breaking into somebody's house while they're sleeping. Stern words from a juvenile court judge this afternoon laying down the law against two teenaged boys in court, both tied to a fatal accident over the weekend. It was early Sunday morning when Fort Lauderdale police initially spotted and pursued a stolen white Mercedes. That car never stopped and ultimately crashed into two other vehicles on Oakland Park Boulevard and Northwest 9th Avenue. A pregnant woman was among the injured, her brother speaking to Local 10. I worry about her because she's pregnant, you know. She's, she's having the baby next week, I think. But as the 15-year-old driver and the 13-year-old passenger in that stolen car fled, paramedics tended to another woman who was critically injured from the crash. She died at a nearby hospital. BSO deputies eventually nabbed the two teenagers who investigators say were behind several car thefts in Fort Lauderdale hours earlier. You look at it and wake up and shoot you. And that is because those crimes happen in the middle of the night. They are accused of attempting to steal three cars from a driveway in the city of Fort Lauderdale, but they were only successful, according to investigators, with stealing two. In the meantime, we know that that 13-year-old, he has at least 26 felony counts of open cases tied to, uh, tied to him for previous crimes that he is accused of in court and another 12 misdemeanors. So he's certainly been in trouble with the law. Now, these two teenagers are now uh, have now been charged with grand theft auto, fleeing and eluding a crash uh, involving death. So certainly they are in a lot of trouble right now. Reporting live from Oakland Park, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Terrell, thank